at this point in time of the season that the Lakers would not be in the playoff race, I wouldn't have believed you. Because when you watch any news outlet or any news station in regards to sports, they were basically saying, you know, the question of the hour was whether are the Lakers going to make the playoffs? And it was unanimous, yes. I can't recall anyone saying no outside of the mainstream, the ESPNs, the Fox, the Shannon Sharps, Stephen A. Smith. The Stephen A. Smith actually went on record and said that he sees the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. Not this year, bro. But I believe, you know, myself personally, I think I, I was on that same wave because I thought this was going to be something beautiful. But sometimes, you know, when you, everything that glitters is not gold, but sometimes when you, you know, put a situation together, it doesn't play out because uh, Herman Edwards is notable. Uh, the coach, Herman Edwards, is notable for saying, this is why you play the game. This is why you play the game because we had the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. We had the Lakers winning their division. We had the Lakers at least making it out of the first round. It looked like they won't even scratch the surface and they won't even make it because ESPN has them from a BPI perspective and as basketball percentage index, have them not making the playoffs from a 99.9%. And this was, if this was Jerry Springer or Maury Povich, you are the baby's daddy. <laughs> but man, it's, 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 it's a tough pill to swallow to watch the Lakers make maneuvers like or, or maneuverments like they did and then find themselves in a situation where they're outside the playoffs and more likely won't even be playing in the postseason. But I got I got something for them. Now, since LeBron James is, you know, once he passes Michael Jordan uh, scoring on Wednesday night because he needs 13 points to do it. So when he get 14 or more points, I'm taking him out. I'm going to sit him for the rest of the season. Then he can actually go train and work out, get ready for next season. And he can actually start start uh, working on his new movie, Space Jam 2, because he came to Hollywood for a reason. So now is basketball as important? Are you committed to the game like you're supposed to? But hindsight is 2020, and you could blame Luke, you could blame whoever you want to blame. But we do need some uh, to more talent on the team if we're going to be considered to actually be in the playoff race next year or to win another championship. But in my mind, you know, Lonzo Ball, you know, I was claiming he was a bust. I'm going to go on and say he was a bust for the number two pick, but he was a great pick for the Lakers because I don't think it would be playing out this way if had he not gotten that, what was it, sixth grade uh, sprained ankle. Now, he hasn't been playing, but usually whether he scores 20 points or two points, he, he somehow has his presence on the game from a quarterback perspective. Uh, the ball moves up the court a little faster. The ball never sticks when he's in the game because it's hot potato because he either is going to do something with it or he's going to get it out of his hands. But man, nobody thought that the Los Angeles Lakers would be in this position and or predicament. And I got to, in closing, think about how can I measure the anticlimactic outcome of what's going on today and I would say it's kind of like dating a woman a beautiful brown woman with beautiful wavy hair and she says she got Indian in her family and you find out she got a goddamn lace front man but no disrespect to women that wear lace fronts or anything like that my point is that it's anticlimactic okay but man it's gonna be a tough season but somehow we got to figure it out and Magic Johnson, Rob Palenka, you guys are on a, you know, you guys are up, you know, on that board in the sense of um, the skepticism could actually affect you. So we got to criticize you too as being president and general manager of the organization. Uh, I understand, you know, getting LeBron was more was the best thing, but hindsight being 2020, I think we need to. Um, and I'm being honest about this, sit him out for the rest of the year and somehow end up in that lottery and figure out a way to get a high lottery pick, hopefully in the lottery, a top five or a top 10 pick, and somehow put some of these, some, some of the talent together to get that number one pick to get Zion Williams. I'm gonna say Zion Williams from Duke. But hey, I'm just a novice. I don't know what I'm talking about. None of us know what we're talking about, but you guys are the experts. And based on the productivity, I would have to give y'all a D minus. 
I know hindsight is twenty twenty, like you said, but when we thought we could get Paul George, and when I say we, I mean the Los Angeles Lakers thought that they could get Paul George and that people be running to come to play for LA, but that's not the case. So will we get another athlete or will we get a, a top tier superstar this summer? We never know. But I would consider sitting LeBron James uh, for the rest of the season, tank the season, get a top pick, either take that pick, trade it up to the number one pick, or just nurture that talent. Because man, this is Los Angeles. And uh, based on what's going on, this Western Conference is beats. So with that being said, man, this is your Sports Talk Los Angeles edition of Better Black America TV. Y'all have a good day. Let me find a tune from my boy Box on the Beats. And y'all take care, man. Have a good day. Better Black America TV. Make sure you subscribe. Because as you see, we're stepping our game up. Got that content coming. We're going to keep it coming. So we got entertainment, sports, politics, and money. We're going to break it up. We got entertainment, sports, politics, money. And that's how it is. So with that being said, man, have a good day. Have a great day. And today is Tuesday, February 4th, 2019. Peace out.